Ciao and welcome back. This is All About Opera. I'm Jamie and today we are going to talk about Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's opera La Clemenza di Tito. Before we get started, please be sure to subscribe and come back for more videos like this in the future. If you haven't already, please also check out my past opera videos and post in the comments on what opera you would like to see next. Let's go! La Clemenza di Tito was written by Mozart in 1791 and was the last opera he ever composed. With libretto originally written by Pietro Mastasio, more than half a century before Mozart's composition, La Clemenza di Tito is about the Roman Emperor Titus. This was not the first opera to be written about Titus's life, with several other composers setting Titus's life to music, such as Antonio Cadara's Life of the Caesars and Tito e Bernice. Later, the libretto was edited by Cattarino Mozzola when it was commissioned by the Estates of Bohemia and composed for the coronation of Leopold II of Bohemia. It is rumored to have been written in only 18 days, but has not been proven. It was performed on September the 6th, and Mozart died three months later in December of 1791. For the cast of La Clemenza de Tito, we have Tito, the Emperor of Rome after the time of Julius Caesar. Tito is a very loving, understanding ruler who pardons those who have done wrong for the right reasons. Played by a tenor, Tito is a very strong role with the true heart of a king. Next, we have Sesto, Tito's good friend, who is a very kind, loving nobleman with one weakness, his love for Vitalia. This mezzo-soprano role is easily persuaded, yet is still true and loyal to those he loves. Vitalia is a vindictive woman who seeks to end the reign of Tito after the death of her father. Also played by a mezzo-soprano, Vitalia uses Sesto's love for her own gain. Agno is Sesto's best friend and is in love with his sister. Agno is a young nobleman with a good conscience and strong ideals. A mezzo-rome, Agno shows strength and loyalty and never gives up on his friends. Servilia is Sesto's sister and is in love with Agno. Even though the soprano role is only in the opera for a short period of time, Servilia shows great strength and grace even in the hardest of times. And finally, we have Publio, Tito's captain of the guard. This base role shows great loyalty to his emperor and shows great love to his country and is always standing up for what he thinks is right. The beginning of the story starts off with Vitalia accusing Sesto of weakness when he tries to persuade her against her plot to assassinate Tito and destroying Rome. Tito has removed Vitalia's father from leadership, and instead of marrying her as she expected, he marries another woman whom he loved. Sesto finally falls in with Vitalia's plans in fear of losing her when Agno tells Sesto that Tito wishes to speak with him and how Tito has sent his wife back to her own country. Vitalia tells Sesto to hold off on their plan, thinking that Tito will now ask her to marry him. Sesto and Agno head to meet Tito when Agno asks Sesto to speak for him to the emperor about marrying Servilia. But before Sesto has the chance to ask, Tito tells Sesto that he plans to marry Servilia himself and make Sesto his heir. Agno becomes the messenger of the news and tells Servilia to become Tito's wife, and the two exchange words of everlasting love. As Tito and Publio argue about the release of certain prisoners, Servilia enters, begging to be heard by the emperor. As she speaks, she tells him of her love for Agno, and knowing that denying the emperor means death, she agrees to marry him if he can live with a loveless marriage. He praises the gods for her honesty and frees her from marrying him. Vitalia, though, learns of the news of Servilia's upcoming engagement to Tito and curses him. 
Sesto enters, and she asks if the job has been done, to which he reminds her that she asked him to hold off on their plan. She reminds him, though, of Servilia's engagement, and makes Sesto believe that she loves Tito, and if he doesn't murder him, then she will never love Sesto. Sesto agrees, and begs of her to make peace with him before he goes. As he departs, Anio and Publio arrive to tell Vitellia that Tito has chosen her to be his new bride. La Clemenza de Tito is a stirring opera with enchanting music like Parto Parto. <laughs> Asi fusi in torno a trono. Non più di fiore. De per questo estante solo. And a perdona o primo effetto. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy learning about Mozart's final opera. This is one of my personal favorites and I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you wish to see the full opera, I will post it in the description below starring the people whom you have seen in this video. I will also post my first videos on opera introduction and Le Nozze di Figaro, another one of Mozart's wonderful operas. Please watch them and learn more about Mozart as well as other composers. Please post in the comments if you have any requests and if you have seen this opera before. Subscribe and come back later for more operas like this. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Arrivederci.